All right, hey everybody, before we jump into part three of the build here, and I, you can see it's all done behind me, I know you're excited to, to see where, where I've gotten to with it, but I just wanna take this um, quick second to say thank you so much to everybody who's been watching the build so far and, and my videos, and, and those who've been commenting, just thank you so much, it's, it's been so fun. The past two or three weeks on this build has been just, it's been phenomenal, it's been a lot of work, so being able to share with you guys and talk to you about it with a few of you has just been, it's made it 10 times better. So again, thank you, uh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it so much. Hopefully you guys enjoy uh, where I've gotten to with uh, the build. All right, let's jump into it. It's almost, yeah. almost. All right, it's part three, beginning of part three now of the camper build. The boys out here with me today, I've got some turf. I bought from Home Depot. So we're gonna put that right here, right here on the tailgate. This is pretty snug, so I'm actually gonna have to trim it out like this because that part there. So I'll have to mark that with a marker or something. And and it's a uh, terribly rainy day today, wet, but, <laughs> uh, but I think I might still be able to get the other insert spray painted and I haven't chosen the fabric yet for it. I might have to run and grab some. I was gonna go with something pattern, but that might be too much. I might just get some type of solid color and, and I can always put something over it if I don't like it. Now this stuff was kind of a pain in the butt for Home Depot to cut, so they ended up giving me a lot. I didn't pay for a lot, but they gave, gave me a ton. You can just see how textured the bottom of this turf is. I'm trying to figure out how I, how I attach that to here. I may just try and silicone, put some silicone on because that way it won't be like overly permanent. All right, so I'm running into a little bit of an issue here. This drawer, there's really no room for it to come out. It kind of gets stuck. I mean, it's not too bad, but it's hard to get this drawer in. And out. Well, I decided I think I'm going to do it the whole way. I think I can still get the drawer out. It might be a little snug. To me, that's like, that, that's how it's got to be done. All right, well, I made the first cut. And that was really easy because it was within these grooves. There it is. I had to actually, when I was measuring, something looked off, so I had to cut it level uh, on the bottom side first, but I think it's gonna be a perfect fit. Try and test it here. Uh, stuck. Okay. Try and get it in the exact spot that I expect that it will be. I'll figure out if I need to trim anything off or not. A little high. It seems like it's shutting. Let's see how this works. There. I just found, I happen to have a tube of just like kitchen bath silicone. So I'm gonna try that. That's one whole tube. Just lay it down and as best I can, try and clean up the excess. Oh man, I almost laid that down perfect just to start. I can see it coming out here and I don't want to get silicone on my cow upholstery. Oh, something's getting caught. Oh, oh that's a really snug fit. Oh yeah. I think that's gonna work. <laughs> well, I'm doing the hard work. They're doing the, the real work, hanging out. You can see that there. So that should be fine. The turf is in. You can see it's cut, fits, closes all right. Gets a little little snug right here, but that's okay. Ultimate test here. Oh yeah, I don't know what I was worried about. Look at that, comes right out. All right, well I'm back inside here doing the fabric that's gonna go on. This I got all painted, it's all dried up. So I've traced those onto this uh, really thin fabric, but cheap fabric, but fabric nonetheless, and that'll actually go on the reflected side. And so that'll be on the inside. I need to iron these out once I get it cut. And the uh, black portion will be on the outside. So I think these are gonna work really well. All right, well, I'm in the midst of gluing these on. And uh, this fabric I got is way too thin. As you can see, it's showing the the uh, pattern in here. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I can always put more fabric on top, a thicker fabric later with some more spray adhesive. And uh, it's gonna be covered with curtains eventually anyway. So yeah, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of working a little bit at a time. and. Trying not to put too much glue on. Uh, if I do, it's kind of soaking through because this fabric is so thin. And then I'll drag this across, get it as, as even as possible. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. I'm just kind of 
Something like that, and then working it towards the outside. Not my favorite, not the best, but at least it won't be the shiny tinfoil looking Reflectix uh, on the interior right now. All right, we got some major updates in progress here. I've got these window inserts all fabriced up, trimmed up on the outsides. I'll show you how I did these here. I got one more to put up. I've just been test fitting them. They're fitting great. I need to get some Velcro on this one here. You can see there's a little bit of gap there. That one up there too, I'll get a little bit of Velcro. You can see it almost perfectly stays up there. So what I did here is I've got the Reflectix. As you can see, I spray painted the one side black, the side that faces out. And then I just kind of trimmed the edges with some black duct tape. Again, I've got the brackets up there holding it in. You can also see that I've got some carpet upholstery trimmed into the side there. Did an okay job. And I'm going to finish around the outsides eventually here. I also upholstered down here. So now I've got the, the cow fabric running down the whole way there. Here, let me put the camera up. So let me move this. Here is the uh, turf, and then this was metal before. All I did was just double stick tape this down, and then I kind of have it duct taped back there. Let me put the drawer back in. I was a little worried that it would get caught, the drawer would get caught on it, but it doesn't seem to, so it's actually working pretty well. See, right like that. When I tip this up, you can see it just kind of folds in there. Grass is on here real well now too. It's snug, but let me fold this up real quick. I'll show you. Does shut, it comes on down. <laughs> you can just see, I just have command strips. And so I'll just get this positioned up here. I'll just put a command strip right on the duct tape. It'll stick right on there. So I'm gonna put that on right now. Once I get this screen on, then let's uh, let's do a little light check and see what it's, uh, what it's gonna be looking like in here in terms of blackout. And one more, one more, one more, one more. I'm struggling with peeling this off. Oh, I think I got it, okay. So let me, let me see what this looks like here. All right, going in. Oh, <laughs> let me bring you inside here and show you this. It really exposes all the, all the gaps I need to fill. Closed. It's time, whoa, we're inside. It's looking a little dark. This whole thing needs to be brought in as part of the topper. That will shore up a little bit on that corner there. This corner here though, there's quite a bit of gap. So I'm gonna have to seal that somehow. So I've got those gaps. Let's see what uh, what else we have for light leak. We'll call it light leak. Obviously up there, I can just trim that with a little bit of uh, a little bit more reflectix and tape. That's pretty good. Oh my goodness, this thing is just pitch black inside. These are just resting right on the frame there. That's how well those fit. Just gotta, just gotta solve these gaps here. And, that'll, and then that'll be it. Uh, let me show you what it looks like from the outside. There you have it. You can kind of see, I know the glass is kind of reflecting quite a bit. You can see, I mean, it's, it's blacked out. I, I do plan to tint these as well. Obviously this is nighttime. You wouldn't be able to see that at all. So I think mission accomplished right there. And there's what the back looks like. The back is actually got some tint to it. I just have to work on this corner right here. It should be a pretty easy fix. Either we'll put something on the outside that'll kind of cover that, or we'll put maybe just some sort of rubber filler on the inside. And then this side, I'm gonna end up pushing this in and then retightening it down. And so that part latches in there. Honestly, this is almost ready to go. I am so excited about like, look at the turf. Oh man, I cannot wait to get inside and just cozy up in this thing. All blacked out, she is ready to go. All right, I'm running the LEDs. I, I'm sticking with these cheap LEDs. We'll see if they work. So I ordered another set. These are just like white only. Hopefully they're brighter than the other ones I've got and hopefully they're a better white. But I'm gonna run the, the white ones around the top and then I'm going to run the color ones around the kind of bottom. And so I'll have accent lighting in the bottom and then general lighting up top. The white ones do come with like a bit of a motion sensor. So I'm hoping that I can mount that in a way where I, when I open this up, they pop right on. We'll see what it looks like. Maybe it'll look cool. Maybe it'll look like trash. But knowing knowing how this has gone, everything's gonna look pretty fucking sweet. So run it as high up here as I can on the curtains here, but they shouldn't get in the way at all. Ah, keep running my hand against this fiberglass. <laughs> I got glue on my hand from these. They got fiberglass. Man, I'm a mess. Whew. Did that work? Seems like it worked. So I got the LEDs all ran. It's actually pretty nice. I'm gonna have to do some cable management. I even got a remote for some of this stuff. Sweet. 
And then the top ones are a little funkier. It's weird, it doesn't have like an on off. It only has a day and night and it's only motion sensor. So I have to actually unplug the thing. But let me show you what those look like then. Let me turn those off. <laughs> they're bright. Yeah, they're, they're very bright. And that's perfect. This is great. Look at this. This is awesome. Woo, now we, we got light, we got lighting. This has just been something else. The lighting was a big improvement. I really would prefer something with the with the flat with a remote for these. So maybe I don't know if I'll see there's a better option because this would be really easy to rerun. See, look at that. See, because I didn't move at all, I think I have it set on like one minute nighttime. Uh, yeah. So let me turn it to daytime. This is gonna be some sweet mood lighting in here. I feel like this does have a sound mode where it goes to the volume of <laughs> you can see. As I talk, they flash. <laughs> That's something else. That's gonna be crazy. Uh, it might be a little much. Let me see if I can, it says I can turn the speed of the flash down. How, how about that? Oh, there we go. Yeehaw! <laughs> All we got left is again the carpet here, carpet back there. All right, so one other thing I wanted to do here is I turned the lights off in the garage. First of all, I wanna, I wanna show you something. One downfall of the iPhone, I have the iPhone 13, is they really screwed the pooch on the lens. You can see when you get lights like this in the LED, I'm sure you can see that ghost reflection. That's really annoying, so I do apologize for that. Anyway, what I wanted to do here is I wanna see what the light bleed is like from the outside. Now, obviously I know here there's gonna be quite a bit. As you can see, the expected light bleed. Uh, I'm looking at the back currently. There's light bleeding out there. Obviously here is where the big gap is. I mean, there's a whole gap you can see inside. If I look around the outside, there's a little bit there as well. Obviously if I come down, there's even more. So I need to address that. Oh, this is gonna be even worse, I bet. Here you go. So it's, it's even brighter. Really bright, actually. Obviously, I don't want that, that showing. For stealth camping, for urban camping, we need to get this thing absolutely pitch black from the outside. So I will work on that. All right, back after a week off, after my travel, let's get back to it here. Uh, I was gonna do my own curtains. I decided against that. I just went and picked up these valences. I think they're like 14 inches from Target. There was four of them available and I needed all four. I had these 54 inch valences. I'm gonna cut 32 inch sections off of all four. That way I'll have, I'll have sec, you know, I'll have curtains for each of those as well as uh, then I can use the remnants on the back, on the front there and the remnants for the back rod that goes across here. These curtains are, are like light pass through. They're not meant to be blackout. They're more meant to be aesthetically pleasing from the inside. Something to use to help block the light when I'm in a place like out in the woods where privacy isn't really the issue. Now when I'm stealth camping or I want privacy, that's where these screens are going to come into play. That's where they're gonna do the job. I may end up cutting them in half, just in case I wanna be more modular with the screens. For now, if I really need to vent it, I just plan on rolling this, kind of rolling the uh, the insert back and yeah, I'm getting that ventilation. Fortunately for the first few camps here, hopefully it'll still be real cool in the evening. I got this uh, double-sided tape vinyl flooring stuff. I'm gonna keep work working on the carpet. And then after that, I need to work on light proofing this. If you can see here, you know, like if this isn't pushed all the way up against there, you can see the screen. And then as you saw in my light test, you see that light bleed come through. So we need to do something about that for the stealth camp. Uh, I'm just gonna maybe even just take some painter's tape and just tape it along there. It'd be quick and easy, a very temporary solution. So I did get uh, sort of this stuff here. This is just a small piece, but I've got more. It's a uh, tailgate seal. So I'm gonna use that to try and get creative with uh, this whole area here. So you can see there's a lot of gap right there we need to take care of, and then down through there. we we'll climb back up in here. So those are the major and final parts, uh, final things I'm gonna work on here, continue to work on in part three. I think once those are done, I'm gonna talk about what uh, the next step is for the first camp. Oh, and then also I've got my whole uh, gaming and, and stream set up. Uh, I did test it the other day before my trip, for a little bit, it was really fun. It's so fun actually. Laptop and me set up with my microphone and camera and all of it. It's, it's, it's really sweet. I'm excited. It is like gonna be premier camping <laughs> and gaming put together. It's wild. All right, let's, let's, get to the, uh, let's get to the work here. I got everything cut and hung. I'm actually gonna take this down just so you can see. I'm not the happiest with how it turned out so far, 
but we're getting somewhere. It's actually, it's starting to feel a little, little homey in here. I like it. Oh, this thing is, this thing is top notch. I'm telling you right now. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, well I took a day or two to finish that vlog from when I was traveling last week. Uh, it took a long time, so I don't know if I'm going to do one of those again anytime soon. Unless there's any big requests for videos like that when I when I do travel. Uh, but uh, go check it out, see what I'm up to outside of the build here. I have good news. The front window there, I called the local ARE dealer and gave them the serial number and uh, they've got a window on order for me, a slot with a slider. So that's gonna be great. I'm gonna have access to the cab. I'm eventually probably gonna move that generator into the cab. The seats flip up, so I'll put that kind of on that base, get it secured. And that way I can run cords through. I don't really need to move it out right now, but long-term when I wanna be able to put another bed board here, uh, I'll need to be able to move it in there. Also in the summer, I plan to probably get some type of portable AC unit. I may end up running the uh, the heat pipes, the exhaust pipes through into the cab and then maybe out a window, make it like a, a insert for the front. I don't really know if I'll run it out the back or anything. I want to try and keep this thing um, where I don't have to have this back part open at all. So at this point, I'm going to bring everything out, kind of bring it all back out again so I can finish the interior upholstery uh, on the lower part. Um, and once that's all done, we're pretty much ready other than the, other than the roof upholstery, which I'll get to when I get to, to be honest. I'm not extremely motivated for that part, um, but I know it will be a big deal for both heat, summer and winter um, when I'm in this thing. Let's get to it. All right, the fun part here. Taking everything out, nearly everything out. I'll need the light in here, so I'll have to, I've got a small jackery. I'll bring that in to power these lights. To be honest, I haven't used this thing in like over a year, I think. 99% Jackery uh, Explorer 240. There we go. <laughs> and the final piece. Look at that. All right, now let's be honest. Who's got a modular truck camper set up as that? Look how easy that is to take in and out. That was, that's just so easy to do. I think about in the future, what other configurations I might do. I like this, be able to do stuff like this. Just have it non-permanent and be able to do that. It all came from right up here. All right, anyway, I'm just kidding. Gonna get to carpeting. All right, so for this part, I'm gonna do it really non-scientific. Let's see, I have my pencil marks here to see so I don't have much room for error. Because I'll probably put some of the double stick tape up. I'll get it in position, go up so it hits here, but like I'll notch this part here, down a little bit, bring it up, mount it. Let's see what uh, this vinyl flooring tape's like in comparison. I hope it's, uh, hope it's decent because man, this stuff just, none of this stuff is cheap. So let's just see. It's gotta be right on the edge there. All right, let's see how well this, this sticks. That actually, uh, that's actually holding really well. Slightly stickier than the carpet tape. So if I think if I kind of bunch it up like this, I'm gonna mark it. You can see I got it cut relatively to fit now. Um, I kind of just hand traced it and trimmed it a little bit. All right. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm pretty much finished up here with uh, the outside. I did the best I, I could with this. I think actually it turned out pretty well. I'm gonna still do the, uh, the kind of the outside edges here. And really just get rid of all the, as much of the white as I can. So the, the back piece was actually pretty easy. Um, I've kind of just got it tucked for now. I don't have it like perfectly seamed. My back's killing me, but I got her done. Gonna put it back together. Let's see what it looks like. Look at that. 
That's looking pretty good. We'll finish this up here. And then I gotta finish the cables here, do some of the weather stripping, light proofing. It's really, really looking so comfortable in there. The only downside that I've found so far, there's much less space. You can just see how tight that is there from, uh, so not only that there, because obviously I added the carpet here, but also the carpet on, on, on that corner there is sort of pushing here. Let me just show you. It's pushing the uh, plywood board out too far. And that's no big deal. I can just notch out the other side. Look at that. Let me, let me step back a little bit. I did not put the EcoFlow back in just because my back was killing me. So I will get it back in there. This is actually more realistic anyway, considering I'll probably run the generator in the cab once I get that window installed. Wow, just, <laughs> all right. That's looking so good. Another angle, you know, I know it's gonna be kind of blurry. All right, I know this might be a little, uh, little grainy, but I wanted to show it to you anyway so you can really get a, a good look inside here. Damn, that's looking good. All right, I got out to the local hardware store and I bought some wire. So this is just some simple braided wire and I have it, you can see now the curtains are pitched with the to topper somewhat. I kind of have this one just roped around here. Um, I could bring it across if I wanted to. I got the sides here upholstered. So then all I have next is just these last top rails there and the interior lower upholstery will be all finished. And then I'm gonna move on to the weather stripping. Use that, stick that on just like there and kind of do that around the different areas. You can see that's where some light's gonna come through here. So this, even though I added this carpet here and on that side, this thing still seems to close just about as snugly as it did before. It's pretty snug, um, but I'm gonna wait till it gets dark. And then I've also got the masking tape came in. So I'm gonna mask around the blind and, uh, and I'll mask, you can see that kind of hanging there. I'll mask tape that. So I ordered this ultimate tailgate seal. It was odd, it came with the normal full strip and it came with this other small piece here. Now I just installed this small piece. They're different. They're like two completely different products. So I don't know, I really like this. This is great. This is cheaper. All right, I'm gonna turn the lights off in just one second. So I've got, I've got some down the bottom, some on the edge here, some on the topper side and some on the bottom of the window side. So you can see it kind of fills the trifecta here. I'm gonna close this thing up and then I'm gonna hit the lights. So let me get the lights off quick. Let's see where the current light is leaking in the back. All right, lights off. So in the middle here, I, I do have um, some Velcro. It's just, I can only Velcro it from the inside. So there's light leak at the top there right now. So you can see the light leak on this corner and that's with it out without it shut. So there's with it shut. Uh, that's actually looking really good on the corner there, just that little bit of hole which I can fill. I don't know if you can see, but right in the middle of the screen, there's a little bit of light leak right there. Um, again, this thing isn't shut closed, so I guess I should take that into account. Uh, and then on the outside, you can see there's the light leak on the outside, but that should be completely taken care of as well with the masking tape. So inside here, I did have to make a little bit of an insert, unfortunately. I just have it taped right now. I will put some Velcro on this. Um, but you can see, obviously, I just didn't cut that completely perfect. This insert really takes into takes that into account and, and blocks the rest of that light. Just cutting these strips. I'm just gonna put a strip there and, and cover that all up. Is that perfect? That looks perfect to me. Okay. The peel. Yeah! Gonna get it all fitted. That's almost a wrap. Uh, one little section back there. Clean it out and let's take a look at our final product here. On this window here, I have it masking tape basically around the full edges there. And on this side here, I'm just doing little spots. I need to get these windows tinted and that'll probably make a big difference. Honestly, I'm probably nitpicking right now on the amount of light that's coming through here. So as soon as I get these tinted, I mean, that's probably gonna do the job. We'll do this last light test here with masking tape. This thing could be pretty light proof, um, other than maybe the corners. Um, but I think once I get this, so both T-handles latch, we're gonna be light proof and we're gonna be super stealth, which is extremely important for what I'm gonna be doing. Let's do this light test real quick and uh, see what we got. Moment of truth, so I'm gonna turn the light off here. All right, lights off. So we know that's gonna leak there just because of the nature. 
So let's first look at the side where I completely masking taped it up. Wow, it, it's, uh, it's basically pitch black. So as you can see, but there is a, a little bit of corner. You can kind of see when I'm at an angle. Now, if I'm flat on, you really can't see it at all. So obviously your screen is black. There's a tiny little bit there, but I doubt you can even see that. Heading over to the other side, that corner there, clearly I need to tape that. So I'm gonna get the lights back on. Like I did on that side, I'll do over here. You can see I just did a few pieces. I'm pretty happy with it. I don't think anybody's gonna notice it by any means. Um, let me get this cleaned up real quick. All right, this part three has basically been just a skyrocket of progress. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I got it cleaned up. Got the drapes, they're the uh, curtains. Let's move those bad boys out of the way. Gosh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> and step back here a little bit. You can see, obviously, we've got the turf. This thing is so set. I want it kind of as, uh, as almost like cabin-like in here. Just kind of really super comfortable. Um, where you really don't feel like you're in a truck camper. Well, so many of these I see, they've got the dark upholstery, everything's dark about them. I wanna do something completely different. And I think I've accomplished that. I keep moving these out of the way. I'm gonna tuck them up here. There we go. Nope, <laughs> didn't work. All right, anyway, <laughs> look at this. Oh man, this is just crazy. I'm probably gonna bring in price and maybe some different pillows. Uh, I honestly thought about hitting, hitting Target up and uh, I saw some pretty cool, it's pretty really cozy looking uh, pillows there. So I might grab some of those. I've got a Pendleton throw for this as well. I'm gonna get in. So you can see just the turf. Let me try and back up a little bit so you can kind of really see. <laughs> but let's try the wide view here. Um, again, a little grainier, but uh, man, you can really, really see this thing has come together. Here we are. Look at it. Oh, <laughs> this feels good. I mean, the carpet here just feels so much better. Honestly, the roof doesn't even bug me. Um, I, I still plan to carpet it because I need to get it insulated with Reflectix. Let me just fold this down and show you again. This can slide right underneath here. As I'll have storage there. I still need to get a board cut um, to fit under there so it's nice and flat. But part three, this is it. This is part three. So the question is, is what's next? Well, obviously, the stealth camp, the first stealth camp. So what I really need to do is I need to get this thing outfitted with everything I need in it. So I'm gonna do that. And once I get that done, then I'm gonna post another video, just kind of do like a full tour of it. So you can kind of see where I've put everything, how I plan to use it. And then somewhere from there, hopefully, I'll be getting out for the first stealth camp. I need to do some location searching. I need to do a little bit of scouting. I think what would be cool is if anybody watching this part three, if you have like a kind of a like a location you think that uh, would be good, like a, a Walmart or gas station parking lot or or wherever, uh, hit me up and, and maybe I'll maybe I'll t attempt my first stealth camp there. I definitely want to try and find something someplace near a Wi-Fi signal because I'm going to be gaming because I love to game. Gaming inside the back of the stealth camp truck. It's just crazy. Basically, I've been dreaming of this for a long time. Finally able to do it, so just so thankful. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this part three. I know I have, I just keep getting more and more excited. If you have any uh, comments or questions about part three or the build or anything like that, just put it in the comments below. Otherwise, just keep your eyes out for uh, the next videos coming out. Make sure and subscribe, I'm gonna say that. I'll try to put these videos out as quick as I can. Uh, that's, that's my commitment to you guys as well, is continuing to, to put out as much content as I can for what I'm doing in this camper and everything else. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys have a, a great week, a great weekend, or whatever it is. Uh, keep tuning in. 6 TV. We'll see you in the next video. Hopefully the stealth camp. Take care.